Hello. So, now we have some problems where we are adding and subtracting polynomials, which are really just secretly problems where we're combining like terms. In fact, when we add polynomials, it's the easiest we can get. So, let's go ahead and start with problem one. 3x squared plus 11x plus 4 plus negative 5x plus x squared minus 13. When you are adding two polynomials together, what I do is just I simply drop the parentheses. So we have 3x squared plus 11x plus 4 plus, well, we have a negative 5x, so actually I'm just going to write minus 5x plus x squared minus 13. Now, let's combine our like terms. We have a 3x squared and a regular x squared. So if I have 3x squared and I add another one to it, I then have 4x squared. Now my next pair of like terms would be 11x and negative 5x. So 11 minus 5 is 6, so we have 6x. Finally, we have positive 4 minus 13, which gives us negative 9. And this is our two polynomials added together. So let's try number two. We have 9n to the third power minus 4n squared plus 2n minus 10 minus 2n squared plus n plus 7. Now I note that there's no other terms with n to the third power so that one's gonna stay the same. n to the third power. And sometimes when we're doing these problems if they get a little long I can just scratch out whatever terms I'm done with. So my next pair of like terms would be this negative 4n squared and the negative 2n squared. Negative 4 minus 2 gives us negative 6n squared. And again, I can cross out the terms when I'm done with them. Going from there, we have another pair of like terms, 2n and n. 2n plus n is 3n. And then finally, finally, we have negative 10 plus 7, or 7 minus 10, giving us a negative 3. And that is our simplified uh, polynomial addition. So now, let's work on some subtraction problems. Now these don't, aren't quite as bad. I mean, they're a little bit different, but just in one way. And that we have to distribute the negative sign to that second pair of parentheses. Leave the first one the same. So, I'm going to keep the first set of parentheses exactly as it is. Plus 2k. Now, distributing the negative, we have a minus 2k squared, minus 2k, minus 17. Again, I only have one term raised to the third power, 5k to the third. So let's ignore that. Then, let's work on our k squareds negative 2k squared minus 2k squared well negative 2 minus 2 is a negative 4k 
squared. We can cross those out. Then we have 2k minus 2k, 2 minus 2 being 0, so they'll actually cancel themselves out. And finally, we are left with a negative 17. So, we can see it's the same process, just the only difference being distribute that negative. So, looking at 4, keep the first pair parentheses the same. So, y plus 4y squared minus 3, distribute the negative. So, negative 1, negative 2. 2y squared negative negative 5y two negatives become a positive so it's plus 5y and negative negative y to the third becomes plus y to the third two negatives canceling out again now highest exponents to the third power so y to the third cancel that out then we want our y squareds, 4y squared and negative 2y squared, giving us a positive 2y squared. Cancel those out safely. Then we have y and 5y to get us a positive 6y. Then finally a negative 3 minus 1 which is negative 4 giving us our answer. Okay so part 5 last one says to subtract negative 10ab plus 7a squared minus b squared from 8b squared plus ab minus 2a. So if I told you to subtract 3 from 5, that would be the same thing as saying 5 minus 3. Subtracting 10 from 20 is 20 minus 10. So when we subtract the first polynomial from the second, we want to write it the second polynomial first. So 8b squared plus ab minus 2a squared and subtract negative 10 a b plus 7 a squared minus b squared and now it's a regular subtraction problem so let's simplify it 8 b squared plus a b minus 2 a squared distribute the negative to get positive 10 a b minus 7 a squared plus b squared okay now uh, I'm just going to start off with my b squared terms, so I'll write everything over here. 8b squared, and we have a regular b squared, which gives us a 9b squared. Now I can cross those out. Then let me look at my ab terms, ab and 10ab. Well, if I have 10ab plus another ab, then I would have 11ab. Cross those out. Finally, negative 2a squared minus 7a squared is negative 9a squared, giving us our simplified form. So, don't make these problems any more complicated than they need to be. They are just matters of combining like terms. No more and no less.